It, uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm good. Uh, I've got a thick skull. I don't have a skull. <laughs> <laughs> that caught me so off guard. G'day, Marshmallows. My name is Oscar, and this is the Coco Couch. I have interesting feelings about this movie. I feel like we, most of the people watching this video right now, probably have heard the song Let It Go so many times. It just, like, I feel like everyone is pitch perfect in regards to that song by now. <laughs> yeah, no, I mean, obviously this movie is extremely famous. I'm interested to see how it goes, what sort of commentary I provide. Oh, if you haven't already, I just recently created a Discord and I have an Instagram, so go and check those out. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe. Without further ado, Let's jump into it. <laughs> I honestly think this is such a sick intro. I love it so much. Ah, uh, I get goosebumps from this. There's something really beautiful about hearing different parts in a choir, like creating different melodies and stuff over each other. I can already I can already feel myself getting cold just starting this movie. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I remember my little brother, he freaked out when that happened. Cold. Cool. So this is where all our ice comes from. <laughs> I mean they're making it look really fun. It's kind of interesting that they're already highlighting the fact that ice is unpredictable. They should be in the singing business. <laughs> they should be like a, a men's choir or something like that. <laughs> they do so well. All these super buff dudes that can sing deep and like in a choir. <laughs> wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Go away, I'm trying to sleep. The sky's awake. So I'm awake, so we have to play. <laughs> it's so cute. Do you want to build a snowman? I love the delivery of that. Want to build a snowman? <laughs> it's so cool to have an older sibling that has powers like that. I love how Anna is just so into it. Like she's not jealous or questions her abilities. She's just like, this is this is great. I have an older sibling that has powers. Let's have fun. Again. Wait. <laughs> oh no. Oh, yikes. Oh, so she would have landed on the slide anyway. She basically punched her younger. This is like it's super morbid, but this is like play fighting with your sibling and you accidentally hurt them and they start crying, you're just like, please, 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 don't tell parents, please. And they're just like, ah. Whoa, I, that was the first time I actually noticed the trail of ice behind her. It's so obvious, but I just never really picked up on it. Mate, even just one of those rocks could crush you. It's the king. <laughs> Whoever came up with the idea of the trolls in the studio, <laughs> it's great. Cuties, I'm gonna keep you. Just like that, he kidnaps them. <laughs> they could have had parents. You are lucky it wasn't her heart. The heart is not so easily changed. I recommend we remove all magic to be safe. I question that choice very much. Not having memories of her having magic is basically just lying to her her whole life. There is beauty in it, but also great danger. You must learn to control it. Fear will be your enemy. <laughs> Are you serious? You're kidding me. Even if she doesn't know how to control it. Keep her powers hidden from everyone. Gosh. I mean, I feel like this, this has come up in videos all the time, but it's just so stupid. Like, seriously, your biggest enemy is fear. So you just create more fear by holding her back and keeping her in isolation. It's the worst thing for her. I wanna build a snowman. Come on, let's go and play. I love how much personality you can see in just Anna's physicality. It's so cute. What, is she a chaotic good? Is that what, is that what Anna is? Feel it. Don't let it show. You're supposed to be teaching her how to control her powers, not... Uh, 
I'm gonna stop now. Company's overdue. I've started talking to the pictures on the wall. Hang in there, Jones. <laughs> Just watching the hours tick by. Yeah, that would be so boring. Does she have no one else she can play with? Why isn't Anna allowed to leave the palace and play with other children and that sort of thing? Go on play dates and stuff. I mean, Anna's not a danger to anyone. You have to go. You'll be fine, Elsa. Mm. Mate. What a storm. Gosh, just like that, man. I bet a lot of kids watching this movie for the first time when it came out were like, did they just die? I do like in kids movies how they represent death in a way that's like not too visual. It's just implied. They get a good sense of what death is without being confronted too much by it. I'm right out here for you. Just let me in. Oh, come on. How could, how could you deny that? She's being so warm to you. Oh, she wants to be with her so badly. Oh, and oh, I just realized too, they're both grieving because they lost their parents. And they can't even be together to process it and grieve together. So stupid. Three years. Why do I have to wear this? Because the queen has come of age. So what's the age that a woman needs to be to be coronated? To get the coronation? Is it like 18 or 21 or something? Uh, uh Share. Ugh, the fact that they still animated the saliva on it. Ugh. <laughs> Open those gates so I may unlock your secrets and exploit your riches. How could you make it any more obvious you're a villain? I bet they are Goodness. beautiful. Oh, I bet they're gorgeous, hey. <laughs> <laughs> hey, maybe she's just not a morning person. You can't hold that against her. My sister's coronation. Coronation. <laughs> it's coronation day. Maybe she's really sleepy because she couldn't sleep the night before. I find when I'm super excited about something that's coming up the next day, I can barely sleep. New we own day thousand salad I feel like it's a really good choice to give her red hair. I just feel like it represents a lot of her own personality, which is just joy and light and warmth, which is kind of the opposite energy to Elsa's powers. I really enjoy this song because you get to see a female protagonist in a Disney movie that's kind of like, you know, very, very feminine, but like has traits that are very quirky. And I feel like you don't get to see that a lot in Disney princesses. Uh, heavily implying she wants a partner. I know it is totally crazy. <laughs> no? You've been alone for like most of your life. It totally makes sense. I'm sure Elsa might feel the same if it wasn't for her circumstances. Hey, she has to think about her kingdom and all the responsibilities that she has. Hey! That was Rapunzel and Eugene. Hey! I'm so sorry. Are you hurt? Hey. Uh, yeah, I'm great. Actually. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> this is like the best meat cute. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh. This is awkward. You're gorgeous. Wait. <laughs> if you'd hit my sister Elsa, it would be yeesh. <laughs> She's got a point there. It's just me. Just you? I wish it were that easy, hey? <laughs> Everyone needs a meat cute that simple. No one told her she couldn't wear the gloves beforehand. <sighs> she's full of so much fear, as if she's gonna be able to do this. Oh, if that isn't obvious, I don't know what is. I wonder if the bloke behind her kind of knew about it. He didn't even he didn't even blink. He was it just seemed so normal to him that what was going on. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you look beautiful. Thank you. Thanks. You look beautiful. Oh, I must be so refreshing for Elsa. Chocolate. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, they're sisters. <laughs> the Duke of Weaseltown. Weaselton. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but uh, 
it's funny that he's a character in Frozen called Wesselton, the Duke of Wesselton, and he gets confused for Weaseltown. And in Zootopia, there's a character called Weasel Weaselton that gets confused for Wesselton. Chicken with the face of a monkey. <laughs> Dude. I mean, got to give him props for being so spry at his age. <laughs> Probably does yoga each day. I wish it could be like this all the time. <laughs> But, but it can't. It can't. Ah! I mean, it just we... can't. I love the drama. It just can't. Excuse me for a minute. God, oh, it is a shame, though. They love each other so much, but Elsa's honesty isn't great. Hans! <laughs> My guy is just waiting for any chance to catch her. <laughs> I wonder whether it's luck or whether he's actually super creepy and he's, like, following her around and waiting for these opportunities. I think their, I think their first meeting probably was a coincidence what's this i was born with it i like it yeah <laughs> he's the chosen one he likes her hair <laughs> 12 older brothers three of them pretended i was invisible he must have some deep issues then hey you know probably very hungry for power i would never shut you up <laughs> oh my gosh <laughs> all my life has been a series of not gonna lie this is actually my favorite song in this movie Oh my goodness, they took their shoes off. <laughs> well, you really think he didn't see it? We finish each other's sandwiches. <laughs> That's what, what I was gonna say. Our mental synchronization can't have life. We're just meant to be. <laughs> They're so in sync. It's honestly amazing. I feel like this song is fantastic, but it simultaneously makes you feel extremely lonely. <laughs> Will you marry me? Can I say something Dang. Yes. That's uh pretty crazy. <laughs> Far out. Talk about a talk about a Disney movie. Hey, just marrying someone you just met. <laughs> of our marriage. Marriage. <laughs> <laughs> that would be me too. Would we live here? Here? Absolutely. I bet Hans is cheering. No one is getting married. Whatever you have to say, you you can say to both of us. It's not, a, it's not, this is very inappropriate. They shouldn't be in this room talking about this. You asked for my blessing, but my answer is no. Communication, guys. The party is over. Close the gates. Yep. Just like that? Then leave. What did I ever do to you? What, why do you shut the Yeah, exactly. Out? What are you so afraid of? I said enough! Yikes. Talk about a debut. I knew there was something dubious going on here. What's wrong with him? He's like grabbing his henchman's arm, like, ugh. Your Majesty, are you all right? Yes, a mother's intuition. She noticed. Stay away, monster! Uh, that one was very unfortunate, though. Hey. Like, up until that point, it was very accidental, you know? The fact that she accidentally threw a flippin' ice ball, that was... I can see why everyone backed away, you know? She needs someone like Anna to get through to her. Mate. That's some power, though. How far does that go out to the ocean? Hey, does it stop at some point? A monster, too! No, no, oh, I'm dude, back off. ordinary. That's right, she is. <laughs> In the best way. Yikes, dude, he really dodged a bullet there. I'm the one that needs to go after her. What? Yes. Bring me my horse, please. Anna, no, it's too dangerous. I know that Anna has, like, a responsibility to her sister, you know, and family and to protect her family, but technically Anna is second in charge after the after Elsa, so her first duty should be to her people, right? It's a mistake that she's leaving. Ah, <laughs> here we go. You know, I actually learnt this on piano when it came out, which was like several years ago. I couldn't play it now, but... I would love if the Fellowship of the Ring just started walking up on the mountain next to it. <laughs> It's such a shame she's still telling herself these things at such an age, you know? I was about to say she must be freezing, but I just realized the cold never bothered her anyway. <laughs> just immediately slips and falls. <laughs> she should be an Avenger. <laughs> Come on, girl, let it go. <laughs> let it go. 
This is her first incarnation. Her whole personality is like changed. Far out, what pipes? <laughs> the eyebrow raise at the camera. The <laughs> she literally went inside, sat down, and then she just immediately felt lonely and depressed again. It's a shame because it's like, oh, she's free now, but I don't think freedom is what she needed. She needed connection with people, right? I think if you had a choice whether to be alone and have everything you want and freedom or not get everything you want and freedom but have but be, but be surrounded by people who love you and you love them obviously the latter is far more important <laughs> that would be freezing there, there you go <laughs> Big summer blowout. <laughs> Big summer blowout. For now, um, how about boots? Winter boots? That would be in our inventory department. Would be in our winter department. <laughs> <laughs> I love him. <sighs> Far out, dude. You and this fellow. <laughs> Big summer blowout. <laughs> <laughs> oh. We'll throw in a visit to Okansana. <laughs> Hi, family. <laughs> <laughs> the whole family's in the sauna. Now back up while I deal with this crook here. Yikes, dude. Did you cool me? Hey, okay. I can <laughs> 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 That was like the most friendly way of throwing someone out of your house. Reindeers are better than people. <laughs> I love this song. Who <laughs> curse you and cheat you? Every one of them's bad, bad except, except you. you. Oh, thanks, buddy. <laughs> For all except you. They're so in sync. The fact that he's creating the lyrics and Sven is like creating the emotions through his face at the same time. It's actually amazing. <laughs> it's just you. What do you want? Ah, it's just you. That's what, uh, what's his name said? Hans. <sighs> I don't take people places. Take me up the North Mountain. We leave at dawn. And you forgot the carrots for Sven. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I would have done the same thing. You can tell the intrusive thoughts just came through. Like, she was just like, you son of a... And just threw the carrots at his face and was like, oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> I got engaged, but then she freaked out. She said she wouldn't bless the marriage. Wait, and, uh, hang on. You yeah. mean to tell me you got engaged to someone you just met that day? <laughs> I love that Disney in this movie actually calls out every single relationship they created in their past movies in the scene. <laughs> is not a stranger. What's his last name? Of the Southern Isles. No. Eye color. Dreamy. What size? What size doesn't matter. Have you had a meal with him yet? Are you some sort of love expert? No, I have friends who are. I'm not buying it. <laughs> I'd like to meet these. No, I mean it. <laughs> Girl, shush. <laughs> oh, come on, dude. Spin, go. The fact that the wolves are behind them and they stopped. I got this. You just don't fall off and don't get eaten. Whoa! The fact that, like, he used a stick that's disposable and she just goes straight for his string instrument. It's, it's like, come on, man. No! <laughs> I guess it's different now, though. He could die. <laughs> Yikes. Aww. Oh. But I just paid it off. I wonder how long it took for him to pay it off, hey. No, 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 no! <sighs> she better buy him a new one. I'll replace your sled. I understand if you don't want to help me anymore. Of course I don't want to help her anymore. Yeah, but if you help her, then you'll get more rewards. She'll die on her own. <laughs> I can live with that. But you won't get your new sled if she's dead. Exactly. Sometimes I really don't like you. <laughs> I'll let you tag along. <laughs> he likes her. He's just, I think he's just, he's frustrated by her because of the situation that she's got him in. <laughs> it's completely frozen. Oh, uh, title. Uh. <laughs> That's amazing. That's so pretty. <laughs> oh, Sven is having so much fun. <laughs> I never knew winter could be so beautiful. I mean, honestly, I reckon the area would be a lot prettier in summer, though. That's just me, though. Like, imagine all the trees all green and the little river there. And, oh, it'd be so pretty. Yellow and snow? No go. <laughs> Am I right? <laughs> we got off to a bad start. Ew, ew, the body. <laughs> the body. It was like my whole life got turned upside down. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's start this thing over. 
it's funny how it just came out of nowhere like he's like the most supernatural thing that's appeared in this movie so far over the powers right like he's a living creature that's a snowman and who's the funky looking donkey over there uh-huh and who's the reindeer oh dude just called my man a donkey that's so rude always love the idea of summer and all things hot mm. i'm guessing you don't have much experience with heat yep I wonder what his point of reference would be. Hey, like, he doesn't even understand the concept of heat. Drink in my hand, my snow. Oh, no, he's got red cordial. Something about red cordial just makes you so hyperactive. <laughs> find out what happens to solid water when it gets <laughs> I love that they just so heavily imply so many things about him melting. <laughs> That's a Mary Poppins reference, right? I haven't seen Mary Poppins in, I, I think, the last time I saw it was the first time I saw it which was when I was like five or something but put me in summer and I'll be a happy snowman <laughs> I mean honestly he's selling me on summer right now however I've been in summer long enough I want the cold right now <laughs> do what frozen things do in summer wait to the people in US you guys have just been through cold season right I'm not too sure like for us we've just been through summer <laughs> I have no air conditioning, no air cooling unit at all. I've just had to rely on my fan and, of course, Sydney. Ugh. Does anyone need a cloak? Arendelle is indebted to you, your highness. The castle is open. Okay, so is it just me or if it wasn't for the circumstances in this movie, Hans would actually make a pretty good king? That's without, that's, that's without all the circumstances that happened in the movie. She left me in charge and I will not hesitate to protect Arendelle from treason. Oofed. I think uh, the Duke of Wesselton needed a slap in the face like that, hey. But it is also ironic that he's the one saying that. <laughs> Princess Anna is in trouble. I need volunteers. Volunteer two men, my lord. You have to put an end to this winter. That's such a stupid plan. And not only is it stupid trying to kill the queen, it's also stupid to assume that killing her will stop the winter. She isn't constantly keeping the ice around. The ice is there whether she's dead or not. I bet she's the nicest gentlest, warmest person ever. <laughs> oh, look at that. I've been impaled. <laughs> Gosh. I've only got one rope and you don't know how to climb mountains. Says who? Oh. What are you doing? <laughs> You're going to kill yourself. I wouldn't put my foot there. Girl, you've had no experience rock climbing and it's icy. Please tell me I'm almost there. <laughs> <laughs> nope. I found a staircase that leads exactly where you wanted to go. <laughs> Catch. <laughs> Crazy trust exercise. Yeah, it's almost like you're having more experience with a dude <laughs> and getting to know him better than the guy you fell in love with straight away. <laughs> That's the best way to get to know someone is to share experiences with them, right? You get to see what they're like in real life si situations, right? It opened. That's a first. Well, it is magic, right? You should probably wait out here. Last time I introduced her to a guy, she froze everything. Give us a minute. Okay. Biggest mistake. Should have said to stay out here. She needs to sit down and have a full on tea with her and like talk things out. Spend the next few hours or so talking about their lives, what they've been through. Almost like a little therapy session. <laughs> Where'd you get that dress? So sorry about what happened. If I'd have known. You don't have to apologize. You should probably go. If you're so afraid of hurting her, just keep your fists clenched. That way you don't do any like magic ice balls alone where i can be who i am without hurting anybody no that is the most toxic way to handle this Olaf? <laughs> you built me okay i'm kind of glad olaf turned up technically elsa's like olaf's mother it's kind of a weird thought <laughs> for the first time in forever we can fix this hand in hand yeah exactly sort it out together Live in fear. i mean elsa's hair looks great though <laughs> that's what i just noticed Go enjoy the sun and open up the game. Ah, uh, well, actually, there is no sun. <laughs> we can't see it anymore. Arendelle's in deep, 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 uh, deep uh, snow. Yep. I don't know how. Sure you can. Nice. I know you can. Ah, it's so great that she's so optimistic, but... It kind of breaches into naivety sometimes. Like like right now, she's being very naive. And it's just like, ah, girl, protect yourself. There's so much fear. Oh goodness, just take a few deep breaths. Whoa. Oh, 
Oh, right in the heart. Oh, you done goofed up now. And it's so frustrating because it's like, a, oh, I knew that I would hurt someone. But it's like the only reason that happened is because you let fear take hold. <laughs> Dang. I <laughs> think the Olaf was just smiling at it. Like, it was just a new friend. Go away. <laughs> Go away. Watch out for my butt. It is not nice to throw people. Whoa, just calm down. Calm down. Redheads. <laughs> I'm joking. I'm joking. Uh oh, come on. Oh gosh. Oh, dude. Run. Run for your life. This is like the ice bow rock. Just leave them alone. They're going. They're leaving. There's 20 feet of fresh powder down there. It'll be like landing on a pillow. Yeah, if, it, if it's 200 feet, you're done. And I'm ready to go. Two. I was born ready. <laughs> yeah, this, she's psyching herself up. She's like, come on, let's go. What the? Whoa. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would hurt, though. You could have broken your spine from that landing. Anna! <laughs> Man, where'd you guys go? We totally lost Marshmallow back there. <laughs> Marshmallow, that's your name. <laughs> Dude just got knocked out. Don't come back! We won't. <laughs> Was that necessary after he just said, don't come back? Maybe that's all he wanted to say, you know? Maybe he was just like, don't come back. And then he would just put them down nicely. Thank you. How's your- Yes, come on, <laughs> chemistry. It, uh, it's fine. Uh, I'm good. Uh, I've got a thick skull. I don't have a skull. <laughs> That caught me so off guard. The cut was so fast. <laughs> Can't go back to Arendelle with the weather like this. And then there's your ice business. And Christoph found that super cute. He was just laughing like, <laughs> this girl. It's because she struck you, isn't it? Does it look bad? No, you hesitated. <laughs> Hesitation's fine. It's the way he said no. He was like, no. <laughs> Love experts? They'll be able to fix this. I've seen them do it before. Yep. I like to consider myself a love expert. <laughs> I mean, if you have childlike ignorance and, you know, you haven't let the world influence the way that you think too much, then yeah, you probably do have a good understanding of simple things like, you know, love and compassion and stuff like that. It isn't as complicated. It's like when uh, parents hear their, like, kids say something really profound but it's just like the most simple matter of fact you know i feel like life complicates the way you process things a lot when i was a kid it was just me and sven who kind of took us in i don't want to scare you they can be a little inappropriate loud <laughs> very loud stubborn at times and a little overbearing she finds him so endearing i love the dynamic it's like he's showing his girlfriend to his family hey guys <laughs> they're rocks he's cold Crazy. Wait for them to wake up, man. Because I love you, Anna. I insist you run. I... <laughs> I'm gonna go. No, 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 Anna, wait. Dude, she was so fast. She was gonna leave. <laughs> Christoph's home! <laughs> Did you see the troll next to her block his left ear? Or his right ear? He's brought a girl! Yeah! <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I'm not... What's the issue, dear? Is it the clumpy way he walks? It's because they just met. But then again, she also got engaged to a guy she just met as well. So I guess this is different. <laughs> it's kind of good though, because it's highlighting the difference between Hans, who came across super perfect, and Kristoff, who's actually got some flaws and he's quirky, you know? It's like, that's what most people are like. <laughs> confirmation of his desperation for a healing heart. And that's actually super sweet. <laughs> I'm guessing his love language is physical touch then, hey. Which is super easy. All you have to do is give them a hug or cuddles. <laughs> I don't see no ring. Beyonce, out of the way, the Gosh. Yeah. Make bad wink, wink. That was the biggest hint. It's interesting because they're, they're singing this song in the context of these two characters, Kristoff and Anna. It's a massive hint towards her and Elsa. Like, people make bad decisions when they're stressed, but if you throw a little love in there... You're getting married. <gasps> Anna, she's as cold as ice. There is strange magic here. <laughs> Why does he turn up just when this happens? I guess he likes being mysterious. Ice in your heart put there by your sister. Not removed to solid ice will you freeze. Wow, he just spoke like Yoda. To solid ice you will freeze. An act of true love can thaw a frozen heart. So he already knew that information. I'm surprised he didn't tell them when they were young. Like just as a failsafe if they couldn't get to grandpuppy in time. 
Anna, we've got to get you back to Hans. It's interesting that Kristoff, his immediate thought is to get her to Hans, despite the fact that he actually didn't believe that it was true love in the first place. He was like, there's no way you could get married to a man you just met. But now he's like, oh, we need to get you to him. Oh, dude, he just got massive. Dude, you gotta get through. Stop them from killing her. Build a wall so they can't get up there. Block them out. Yikes. Dude, he's trying to save her. Stop. Yikes. The fact that when she's actually trying to subdue someone, she can use her powers like this is insane. Don't be the monster they fear you are. That was a really good thing to say. It's like a perfect thing to say. Damn. The silence was so effective there. The music cut out and you could just hear her gasp. I feel like she's always locked up in one way or another. She was in a room, isolated. Then when she went to a castle, she was isolated and kind of imprisoned from people. She was alone. And now she's back in a room, so isolated again. Anna has not returned. If you would just stop the winter. Don't you see? I can't. You have to tell them to let me go. She hasn't had enough time to even process what her powers are capable of. <laughs> Look at little Olaf. That looks so fun. Just hang in there. Come on, buddy, fast. I love the little subtle faces she pulls throughout the movie at Kristoff. It's like she really admires him and appreciates him. Don't worry about me. Oh, you can tell he really cares about her. And find Prince Hans immediately. We no, stay with her. Make sure she's safe. Dude, why would you just drop her off? You're not an Uber driver. Dude. <laughs> Bro. You are all Erin Dale has left. Don't give him any ideas. Hans, you have to kiss me. What? Now. Oh. Now. <laughs> oh, we should go. <laughs> we should leave. <laughs> oh, Anna. If only there was someone out there who loved you. Shattered. You said you did. Oh, poor Anna. That would crush you. As heir, Elsa was preferable, of course. No one was getting anywhere with her. But you, desperate for love, you were willing to marry me just like that. Yeah. I'd have to stage a little accident for Elsa. The fact that he's like making the room cooler as well while he's doing the speech. It's like trying to kill her faster. You won't get away with this. Oh, I already have. Everything he said in his plan was like really intelligent and smart until he said, oh, I already have. I'm just like, there's the, uh, there's the blind ignorance from the villain again. Princess Anna is dead. Oh, stop acting all upset. At least we got to say our marriage vows before she died in my arms. What a performance. Bravo. Arendelle looks to you with a heavy heart. <laughs> I charged Queen Elsa. He's really milking this performance. And sentence her to death. I don't think you need to overplay this performance, dude. They, they seem pretty stupid. <laughs> oh, he's mad. We're not going back. She's with her true love. Really? Yeah, <laughs> just on the same face. <laughs> yeah, that's that's not a good sign, man. And that's true love there too. Hey, he literally sees some blizzard just taking off and he just immediately charges straight into it. <laughs> <laughs> it lit so quickly. So this is heat. Ooh, but don't touch it. <laughs> yeah, don't don't do that. Not leaving here until we find some other act of true love to save you. <laughs> He's such a good friend. I don't even know what love is. That's okay. I do. Putting someone else's needs before yours, like how Kristoff brought you back here to Hans and left you forever. <laughs> Kristoff loves me. Wow, you really don't know anything about love, do you? I love how Olaf knows this whole time. Kristoff and Sven! They're coming back this way! I guess I was wrong. I guess Kristoff doesn't love you enough to leave you behind. <laughs> yeah, but what about the first part where he brought you all the way there? There's your act of true love right there! Flippin' Anna's making the rounds in this movie. <laughs> I love the way he squeals. Mate, it's taking him a while to get back. Oh my goodness. I completely forgot he just got swept away by the blizzard. Oh, this is a cool shot. 
Mate. As much as this movie's bagged out because of how popular it was and how you heard Let It Go all the time, it's honestly, like, a pretty awesome movie. Oh, my goodness. So inconvenient that all these things are stopping them from getting together. It's like, ah! What a manipulative... Ugh. Your sister is dead because of you. What an ass. <laughs> He's honestly lucky she didn't just create an ice nuke. Come on, go. Don't hesitate. Ah, <laughs> oh, dude. Everyone's watching too. That would be devastating. She'd blame herself too. <laughs> it's such a twist on True Love's Kiss. I love it so much. You sacrificed yourself for me. I love you. <laughs> I love the way she says it. Like, are you stupid? Isn't it obvious why I saved you? And it's sad because Elsa needs to ask that question. Like, why would you do that? And she doesn't understand. Like, people love you. You deserve love. <laughs> Mate, it's a good thing she could, uh, <laughs> she could do this so quickly. <laughs> <laughs> she did. This is the best day of my life, and quite possibly the last. <laughs> He's so optimistic. Oh, oh. <gasps> my own personal flurry. <laughs> <laughs> He's so happy. Get rid of this, dude. <laughs> Anna's like, He's mine. <laughs> the only frozen heart around here is yours. <laughs> oh, that was a punch right there. <laughs> Oh, it makes your face hurt just watching that. I am a victim of fear, so I have been traumatized. I'm a victim of fear, dude. And forever no longer do business of any sort with Weasel Town. <laughs> Weasel Town. <laughs> I owe you a sled. And it's black. <laughs> <laughs> I could kiss you. I could. I mean, I'd like to. I May I? We me? I mean, may we? We may. Yeah, he was, he was wanting to kiss her for a while. <laughs> Yeah, see, having an ice queen is epic. <laughs> I like the open gates. We are never closing them again. Wait, so who's liable if someone gets a concussion by, you know, hitting their head on the ice or something and dying? Is she liable? <laughs> hey, blue looks good on the palace. Okay, so that was... It's been a while since I've seen it. That was... That was pretty good. Like, <laughs> I feel like watching it objectively for, like, the first time it... <laughs> Sorry, I was about to say watching it for the first time in forever. Um, for the first time in like a like a really long time. It was nice to watch it with like a new kind of lens, you know. I just feel like watching it around the time when it came out when it was really big kind of created like this kind of impression that like, oh, this is overrated. It's kind of fun watching it after all the hype's down. It's like, oh, this this movie's actually really objectively good. I enjoy a lot of the twists that they make on traditional Disney movies. I enjoy how they made the first man that she met and fell in love with the villain. I like how um, they had the twist on True Love's Kiss being love between a two, two sisters. I thought that that was very touching. And I like how the actual love interest, who was Kristoff, when they actually do get together in the end of the movie, it isn't like a, yes, we're, we're together forever, we're married, <laughs> it's so happy. It's like, you know, they just have like a, a, they share a nice kiss and it's just implied, okay, well, they're together now, they start dating. I did start a few trends, I think, throughout a lot of Disney movies afterwards, like the twist villain and stuff like that, that probably weren't the greatest trends. Frozen did it right, you know? Obviously, the animation was a huge step up from the way they had been doing things. I think Tangled was like the first movie that kind of incorporated this style of Disney animation. But yeah, no, it was it was refreshing seeing a Disney movie where the Disney princess has 
like powers like that. The more I think about this movie and the the big improvements they made as far as their animation style, the story, the writing, the characters, I definitely feel like Tangled was the first to do that and it opened the way for Frozen to happen. I definitely feel that way. So yeah, I feel like they both go hand in hand. I think the side characters were handled really well, like Sven and Olaf and the trolls. Um, obviously, if you watch the movie too many times, Olaf can get annoying, but I think he's he provides a perfect amount of comedic relief. You know, if you don't watch the movie too many times, you know, it's it's he's funny, he's hilarious. He's very endearing though. He actually creates a foundation for the characters a lot. He's not just a throwaway comic relief character he's actually very important i hope you guys enjoyed the reaction if you haven't already please like and subscribe um channel's really taking off so i really want to thank you guys again for all the for all the support all the comments yeah let me know how i can improve i'm still looking for ways i can improve and it sounds like to me one of the main things is you guys like when i interact more with you and i talk more about my thoughts and i'm you know trying to do more of that <laughs> i'm really enjoying myself i will see you guys all next time